Mandalika, Mandalika Intercultural School. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Principles Vlog, uh, February 2024, with myself, Mr. Chris, uh, MIS Principal. Um, if you listen to this or watch this a lot, you'll know that uh, I do this uh, for three very key reasons. One is to improve the communication within our golden triangle. There you can see up there on, on one of our wonderful students' tops. That relationship I will come to in a minute. It's also to keep you up to date with what our senior leadership team, our SLT, uh, have been doing. And to make you aware of any uh, upcoming school events and activities that we want you to be aware of and, of course, a part of too. So let's get into this. Uh, when I first came uh, to Lombok and um, uh, took the position as your school principal, uh, myself and my team uh, really, really wanted to focus on making communication much better uh, within the school and with around the school. And uh, there's the line, communication is key. I always keep talking about it. And this very much links in to our golden triangle. The golden triangle you see there represents a dynamic multifaceted two-way system of communication between parent and teacher, teacher and parent, teacher and student, student and teacher, and parent and student, student and parent too. It's a two-way conversation. And if that is happening, and it's happening in a kind, uh, respectful, uh, clear way, then we have uh, a hell of a golden triangle and it will shine bright and our school will become more and more uh, successful. So, Sometimes, of course, these ideas, these representations and images don't always work in the way that we want to. And this is a part of life. Uh, there are always going to be disagreements. There is always absolutely going to be conflict, uh, especially when you work uh, in education. So how do we deal with that? We deal with that by having a vision of where we want to be, where we want to go to, and very much the Golden Triangle represents that. We also, though, need to have systems that we can use and fall back to when we do have conflict, when we do have disagreements, and we need to find a middle way, a win-win situation. So, again, when we first started, it was clear that we needed to put in some very clear systems of communication so that when we did have conflict and challenges, we could use them to help us get through them. And so what are they? The first area of communication, and I believe the most important uh, for our students who come to learn here is with our teachers. Uh, every day, uh, we make sure that our homeroom teachers come out uh, onto the Manta Hall, into the Manta Hall with their students. And this is a chance to pick up time for parents to speak with their teachers about things within or out of the classroom. And also for a time again, two ways for teachers to speak to parents too. So this is a core fundamental uh, mechanism we use. It happens every day. So please, if you like the face-to-face -face communication, there uh, it is for you. The other way is through our WhatsApp MIS uh, community group, which we set up. We brought all of our different groups into this great new um, initiative that WhatsApp are doing, uh, Mandalika Intercultural Group. We have all our class groups in there and all of our interest groups, um, even the MIS Promos Group, which allows all of our parents to promote freely uh, without permission their brilliant businesses. Uh, again, about collaboration, about communication, letting you know and the community know what's really going on. So again, if you don't like face-to-face -face perhaps and you want to do more reading, writing ways of uh, communication, then our Mandalika uh, community group is for you on WhatsApp. We also have, of course, bam, 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 the old monthly vlogs, which is, of course, what you're tuning into now. If you like a bit of video, then this is a good communication for you. I give you a nice macro view of what's been happening in the previous month. Again, if you want to go into more detail, if you want to find out, get answers to particular specific questions, then you can use all these other areas uh, of communication too. Finally, um, again, another powerful conduit of communication to keep that golden triangle shining brightly is our parent support group, our PSG. Every single parent who enrolls a student at our school is already uh, a member of the PSG. We have regular once a month events for you to come and speak with us, the SLT, about what's going on, what's coming up, how you can support um, particular events and activities. I'll get into that more in a moment. And we also have a PSG executive committee. And these are for parents that have maybe some more time to invest in the school, have more time to be, again, a communicator and a bridge between 
uh, all of uh, other parents that maybe are too busy uh, to get involved on a regular basis with the school. So that's the PSG Executive Committee. And again, we would really like uh, representation on that committee uh, of some parent who is from early years, of some parent who has children or child in primary years, and of course, a parent who has a child in the secondary. Also very nice to have someone who can come as a secretary and regularly do the meeting minutes too. When the meeting minutes get typed up, they then get sent out across the board through our PSG group or our announcements. And again, all the parents that are unable uh, to come to our regular PSG events can be communicated to with the true facts, with what's really going on at school and also how they can get involved too if time and energy allow. So all these four areas are devices that we set up and we keep pushing all the time to make sure communication is key and that golden triangle is working at its most efficient and effective. Back to the PSG, again, on a regular basis for parents, the idea of this uh, group is to be able to promote close cooperation and communication between you, the parents, and our teachers. Um, it is for studying and discussing matters of common interest related to education and student welfare, and it's to engage and support activities that advance the education of our students in school, including fundraising and after-school activities. If all these um, groups, all these ways of communicating with us are respected and are kindfully used, then absolutely we will be able to get rid of the negativities, the negativities, the fake news, the rumors, the private messages that you get on social media that are of an opinion and certainly are not of fact. So again, please pay attention to these four different ways um, that you can communicate with us within that course idealistic vision uh, and image of our golden triangle. I hope that is clear. Moving on to other things, uh, we had some, um, some uh, really interesting visits uh, outside of school uh, in the previous month. Uh, myself uh, went to Bali and uh, met some of our board members and also the founders of Nusa Alam. And um, what we were doing is we, we wanted to see how Dear Mika, a great successful school based in the Sonora area of Bali, how they do their Cambridge, their Cambridge curriculum, and how they get such great results uh, in their secondary department. So John Cherry, picture of him there, John Cherry, uh, the head of secondary, showed us around and we had some really great in-depth uh, conversations um, on the things I've just mentioned. Um, in particular, which I think is something to know, is both schools, well, all three of our schools are very, very enthusiastic to keep the conversation going and very much focus on how we can develop um, professional development and training uh, within the different teacher faculties of all three schools. So again, that classic um, adage of all of us are smarter than any one of us, really building um, and improving our professional learning community amongst our teachers. Uh, so that's an ongoing process, but something that's very, very positive and all three parties are very willing uh, to want to move forward with. What else is happening? Uh, maybe a little bit more boring. Um, just a, maybe a little bit of miscommunication or some things happening. I wanted to make it very clear. We do have a back, back gate entrance uh, within the school. Um, now there are many parents living uh, more adjacent to the back of our campus, building houses, renting houses, and it's easier for them to access the back gate. Uh, this is happening. I just want to make it clear when it's happening. So between 8 and 8.30 uh, every morning, you will be able to come through the bamboo gate that you can see. There you go. There's a, a circle, red circle around it. And in the afternoon, it will be closed throughout the day for safeguarding reasons. But in the afternoon, it will be open from quarter past three uh, to a quarter to four, so another half an hour um, place where you can come in and out of the back gate entrance. On Fridays, of course, school finishes early. We don't have our CCA period uh, on Fridays, so just work back half an hour earlier, and that gate will again be open um, for that half an hour period. So I hope that makes sense and is very clear. Please use the back entrance uh, if it works for you. February, we had our first house competition of the year house competition, lots of pulling, lots of uh, sore hands, but lots and lots of fun. Even the teachers were involved, you can see down there. Uh, teachers even played, uh, had a match against secondary, which I believe secondary came out tops on. So <laughs> well done secondary, but all age groups uh, really enjoyed themselves. Such fun 
and um, working in teams and gaining lots of house points. Moving on to March, uh, you might be watching this in March. Of course, it's coming up very soon. March is all about literacy, the ability to read and write, as I'm sure you'd agree, a super important fundamental skill that all students uh, should be learning. Uh, we very much want you to get on board as parents if you're listening with this. We'll be doing lots of activities around reading and writing. But again, um, I am a major proponent, major pusher of reading. Uh, reading skills uh, just link into so many different uh, skills within education. So getting your children reading and most importantly, getting them excited about reading is what it's all about. Uh, and so please read, read, read with them. Uh, we have a new initiative with our library, I believe, where you can now take some books out. So please speak uh, to uh, your child's teacher about that. And then of course we have our great digital online reading system as well. So uh, no excuses uh, on the sofa or before bed, such a magical time as the children are growing up to spend 15 minutes, 10 minutes at night uh, reading with them. So, so important. And there's so m such amazing benefits, um, that come with it. So that is what March, uh, is all about. How about upcoming school dates then? Um, some things to put in your diary, the next PSG meeting, the parent support group, please. If you haven't been to this before, come and check it out and get involved, uh, get supporting this marvelous school Friday, the 8th of March, uh, Nyepi, uh, the, the Bali, um, day out of time, uh, is on Monday the 11th of March. So please note there will be no school uh, on this day, no school on Monday the 11th of March. Again, we have an emergency drill on Thursday the 21st of March, another fun house competition. It's going to be about literacy, of course, on Friday the 22nd of March. And then, sadly, we're over halfway through now, the end of term three coming up on Thursday the 28th of March. So as we finish, there we go. Do you know who this man is? He was the person that sang that famous song, Hit the Road Jack and Don't You Come Back No More. Uh, and it is, of course, Ray Charles. And he said, quote, I really feel that if you're going to be good, you've got to practice. Practice whatever the hell you do. Uh, in his case, of course, it's piano and music. In our case, for March and our wonderful students, it's literacy, it's writing, and it's reading, reading, reading. Uh, MIS, over and out. If you ever need to communicate with me directly, please, I'm out every day after school uh, on the forecourt, on the Manta Hall, ready and waiting uh, to be of service to you. Mandalika, Mandalika, Intercultural School.